my channel. Um, so before we get started, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. So we're gonna start off by doing day two and three today. Um, day two is gonna be about door dashing and how much money I make, is it worth it? Um, things like that. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so as far as door dashing, I know a lot of people have questions like how much do we make? So it just depends on how far it is from your home or your starting point. Um, so how far it is, how much the order is. Um, I don't know what else, but yeah. So how much the order is and how far it is depends on how much you get paid. The minimum you can get paid is $2 on Dasher pay and the maximum is 12. Um, then on top of that, you will also get tips. Um, some people tip, some people don't, so it just varies. Um, so when I first started, I did about four or five hours, and I made about $60, $70 my first week. My second week, I did a little bit more hours, and I did like, um, they have challenges you can do, so if you do a certain amount of challenges in a certain amount of time, they give you an extra $10 or $15. So I did a couple of those, and I made about $200 in a week. As of now, it is Saturday, so I've been working since Monday, and as of right now, I have about three hundred, almost four hundred dollars, and it's only Saturday, and I ha it's only Saturday evening or morning, so it's like three p.m. right now, so Saturday afternoon, and I have about four hundred dollars in my DoorDash account, and so you can really make, I don't know, more than that, depending on how many hours you do, or the challenges, what area you go to. So I have a couple of areas that I stick to because they pay the most and they tip the most. Um, so it really just varies, but I would say if you do this consistently, you can make up to six, seven hundred dollars a week, if not more, depending on you know how many hours you work. Like I said, I can only put in about maybe six or seven hours. You know, well I guess I can put like eight or nine hours on the weekend and during the week because I have my daughter and my son. I can put on put in about four or five per day um, so my day amount is always lower than my weekend amount but that's the reason why I try to work a lot more on the weekends um, let's see your tips are a hundred percent some people tip on the app some people give you cash um, today I did deliver one and she did tip me on the app and then she gave me five dollars in cash um, so it just varies on how they want to pay you um, again, you get to choose where you want to start. You choose your hours. Um, yeah, it's really easy. And then at the end of the year, when you do your tax, or at the beginning of the year, or any year when you do your taxes, um, you can thought, you can put your gas in there, your insurance, um, your miles in the car, um, your phone bill. They said you can put your phone bill on there, any gas you put in the car. Um, yeah, so you can put, you can write all this stuff off, anything you buy that relates to your car or to the door dashing, like they have bags you can buy in mass. So anything that you buy per door dash, they will re reimburse you. Oh, not reimburse you, but you can write it off on your taxes at the end of the year. So that's always really good. And if you don't know like how much you're making or how many hours or whatever miles, it tells you on the app as well. If you click on like, there's a place called like end of the year or whatever. So once 2020 is over, so I guess the first of January, you can click on it and it tells you how many miles you uh, drove in 2020. Now it doesn't it doesn't go with your exact um, your exact route. It goes with the route that's already prompted in the system. So let's say the route you they they'll tell you to take is like 20 miles or something, and the one you're wanting to take is like 26 because it's fa uh, you know I don't know no traffic or whatever. Then you only you only get paid or you only can write off the 20 mile one you can't write off the 26 one so that's the only thing that kind of sucks but it does show you a map on um on the doordash app so you can use that or you can use your own maps um either one works um yeah so i know they have like i said challenges touching a little bit based on that they have breakfast challenges where you have to finish it by like 4 59 a.m and you get like 15 dollars um Dinner challenges is like ten dollars if you do it before midnight, and then like there's early break, early morning, or something like the early morning challenge, and that was also fifteen. You have to do five before like three a.m. or something. So there are different challenges, and then they have something called peak days. 
Uh, peak times is basically where they think they're going to be really busy. So you get to see your um, the promos, like the promotions of how much money extra you can make. They normally do it every other day or every couple of days. Um, so the promotions, they have like, and they call them peak days. So basically with that, um, they pay you an extra dollar or two. The most I've ever seen so far is two dollars extra. So basically they'll say on Wednesday, October 17th, you know, we're going to be super busy. So if you schedule it now and you work, you'll get an extra two dollars per order. So like if someone orders something and it's normally two dollars, you're going to extra two. So it's four dollars plus whatever tip they give you. So that's another reason people make a lot of money because they do it on peak days as well. So, you know, it's really, it's really, I guess it just depends on the person and how many hours you work. It really varies on how much you can make. Like I said, um, I've seen people, I've heard people say they make thousands of dollars on it a week. And I'm sure it's because they work like 12, 13 hours or whatever, you know, doing all the crazy challenges. Unfortunately for me, I have two kids, so I can't just like go out and do it whenever. Um, but I hope this was helpful. If you all have any more questions about DoorDash or if you're interested on like something else to do with DoorDash, just let me know. I'll answer any questions you put in the comments below. Um, I hope this was helpful. Um, so please give us a thumbs up if you like. And be sure to look out for day three. It will be in the next clip after this. Thanks. Hey guys, so for day three, I decided to play a Halloween slash top rated scary game on the mobile phone. Um, it's called Sinister's Edge. You can download it in your app store or Google store depending on the type of phone you have. The game I'm actually playing is free, but they do have a $2.99 $2 version, which is a little bit longer. Um, so I'm going to insert the clip next. I'm also going to be doing a voiceover as well, so I hope you all enjoy. If you have any other suggestions on what kind of scary slash Halloween games I can download and play on my phone, please let me know. Okay, so this is my first time playing, so let's see how it goes. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, let's see. Where do we want to go first? Let's go try to get into the house and see if the door is open. Alright, so it looks like we need a key. Uh, let me try to go to the left and see if this one opens. Let's see. All right, cool. So the door opens. Let's go inside. I see a picture. It looks like a mom and a kid, maybe. All right, let's see. All right, cool. So I found a bucket too. Awesome. Wait, do you hear that? It's not like someone's, someone's opening a door. What is that noise? Oh my God. Alright, so let's go out to the bucket. So maybe there's a well. Alright, there it is. The well. Um, let's see what we can do with that. Alright, cool. So it looks like it's getting some water. Oh, cool. So I got a tool. Um, looks like some kind of pipe. Um, there's another picture frame. Mom, dad, and daughter. Alright, let's see what's over here. All right, looks like some kind of fence or gate in a cemetery. Okay, cool. It opens. All right, let's get in here and see what we can find. All right, cool. So I got a key. Let's see who these two people are. I don't know. Alright, so let's look at the daughter and the mom. So maybe the dad's who we keep seeing. Alright, there's nothing else in here. Um, let's see if we can go back to the house and get into it with the key. Alright, let's keep looking. Alright, let's see if it works. Hopefully it does. Cool, so that worked. Um, I guess we can head up the stairs first. Um, let's go to the right. Why not? Hopefully there's no door or key for this door. Alright, awesome. I got a couple of horse heads. Let's see if we can get into the door. Nope, we need a key. 
Oh, what's that? Cool, so we got a hammer. Maybe it's the... For the vase? Or one of those horse heads? I don't know. Nope, it's not for the horse heads. Maybe it's for that vase downstairs. Alright, let's see. Yes, awesome. I got a key. Cool, so that should work upstairs, hopefully. Let's see if we can go up there. Alright, let's see. Cool. Oh, oh, Alright, let's see. Um, I don't see anything in here. Oh, there's that picture. That's what we keep seeing. Maybe that's the dad. I don't know. Uh, let's see if we can get in here. Yes, awesome. Hmm, I don't see anything in here. Oh, we need a star for that one. Maybe there's something in the books? Hmm. No, I'm not seeing anything. Um, I don't know. There has to be something in here somewhere. Can we check the paint cans? No, that's really weird. I feel like normally every room has something in it. Well, it looks like this guy is missing an eye, so maybe that's what we're looking for. Um, oh, I see some horse heads. Maybe they have to do with something on the ones outside? Maybe they face the same way? Mm, I don't know. Let's, let's try to fix it that way and see if it works. <laughs> Alright, that's one. Let's see if I can do the other one the same way. And maybe it will allow us to get into that box or something. I don't know. Alright, let's see if something happens here. No, nope, so let's check inside again. Oh, cool. Okay, what do we get? Another key. So maybe that worked with one of the ones. Downstairs, hopefully. I don't know. Hopefully, let's see. I don't see anything else up here. Alright, let's go to try downstairs. Okay, let's see. Um, let's try the left door. Yeah, let's try this door right here. See if it works. Awesome, it works. Let's see. Um, looks like a kitchen. I don't really see anything that we can use it here. Um, look at the windows. No, nope. see, there's a knife, but I can't use that. Bottle, teacup. Oh, teacup. It's not a bottle. Okay, I have a wine. What the heck? Wine bottle. Um, I guess I can't pick that up. What am I supposed to do in here? I feel like maybe this is like a room that just, I don't know, just here for no reason. Because <laughs> I can't get into anything. There's nothing here it looks like. Maybe this door will work. No, it says it's locked. That's really weird. Alright, maybe we can go out here. See if there's something. No, let's go back in here. There has to be something in this room. I just feel like each room always has something in it. Maybe I just don't know where to look. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Um, there has to be something out there in here somewhere. Maybe if we go in here? No, I don't see anything. Um, maybe back in this room? I don't know, I swear there has to be something here. Um, the cabinets? No, nothing's opening. The bottle isn't open. Hmm. Maybe this little drawer opens again? No. Hmm. Alright, maybe we should go check out another room. I don't know. Let's see. I see this sign, but I don't think it means anything. Um, I select for the knife, but I can't grab it. Hmm. Alright, maybe we should just give up in this room. <laughs> I don't know. Let me look one more time, make sure. Alright, um, yeah, wine bottle, I can't grab nothing, the teapot, nothing's working. Okay, yeah, let's just give up. Let's go to the next room and see if we can find anything somewhere else. Maybe another door open somehow. I really don't know. Okay, so that door doesn't open yet. We still need a key or something, I don't know. Um, 
Okay, you know what? Let's just go. Um, there's a room across the hall, it looks like. I don't remember that door being open, though. That's really weird. Alright, um, and there's a door. Let's see if this one opens. Alright, awesome. Oh, jeez, look at all that blood. Alright, let's see if there's any medicine cabinet. Nope. Okay, how about down here? Awesome. Is that a diamond? Oh, maybe it's that guy's eye. Alright, let's go upstairs and see if we can put that in the guy's eye. Oh my god, it scares me every time. Alright, let's go up the stairs. And then go into that room in the other room we saw. So in here, and then in here, and then in the other room. Yeah, right there. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, dang, that's it. Well, this is it for the trial. If y'all want to download it, it's $1.99. Um, I hope y'all enjoy.